All right, so finals here. Zan on the play with Infect. He has kept seven. Drake, we mentioned, is on a six-card hand. Scryed to the top. There's not that many cards with Titan Shift that you scry to the top here, so that's a good sign. Zan starting off just on Ink Moth Nexus. No Glistener Elf. Yeah, no Glistener Elf, no Hierarch, but having the Nexus means there is a threat online. Absolutely. Search for tomorrow from Sasser. Also gives him some insurance in case Drake draws one of those main deck sweltering suns. He can still chip back for a lethal swing. Right. With things like Glistener Elf, Blighted Agent, you do have to be a little bit concerned about being swept up. Where the Nexus just hangs back in your lands, can only get tagged by the lightning bolts. All right. So question here is Zan has a second threat. Bl Blighted Agent plays around Tribelder, but died a lightning bolt. Looks like a couple mutagenic growths in Zan's hand. And now draws become immense. That could lead to a very quick kill. Yeah. And actually, if you can do that, two mutagenics and a bl and a become immense on an ink moth nexus, there's not actually a card in Drake's deck that can stop that. Right. Double mutagenic means that you can play in the lightning bolt. Yeah. And that plus, so Dan might actually be assembling a hand that Drake just can't beat. He'll stick one poison onto, the, onto Drake right now. Yeah. Zan does have a couple main deck disc members. I want to say I spot one of those in the hand. That's going to uh -huh. be, yeah. be a dead card in the matchup. If you're Drake, you hope he draws all of them. Yeah. One poison back to our Titan player. Search for tomorrow down to one. Could have a tri build here. Wouldn't really help. He's being hit down by a flying infector. So he'll cast Farseek. Up to three mana. It'll be four next turn. Yep, he's ex executing as far as his proactive yep. plan, and Zan's just going to show face up. <laughs> I have you dead. Win. Land, pump, pump, pump. Yeah, this is eight There's points of pump. You have one poison, eight monster one. That's ten. Drake says, hold on. I want you to do it. I says, okay. Zan says, all right, let's see, I will. I can, let's see if I can figure out how to play the four cards I just showed you. Okay. Here's the land. We activate the Nexus. There's not a gut shot. Deck lists our face up. Yeah. Make it a 5-5. Five, five. Make it a 7-7. Seven, seven. Drake says, oh, he's going to pack for something. He's going to pack for something. Make it a 9 and packed it. No, what a that's, play. That's, there we go. Pack doesn't target. Dang. All right. Zan said game one. Turn three win. The hard part about Titan Shift in this matchup is it doesn't pressure, at least game one, you don't always pressure your opponent to even like make decisions right you know like here here's what Drake did he tapped out and then Zan got to cast his cards right he spent one mana and then he spent two mana and then he lost the game yeah sometimes they you would some decks give you leeway to bluff or to make your opponent play around things Titan shift you just you tap out each turn you know like what you do I played a farce even without public deck list yeah that's just true yeah. Their deck is ramp spells and six mana spells and, yeah, and you're tapped out <laughs> yeah and, and Okay. Would, right. you, would you like to kill me? There's y nothing yes. weird that's going to happen here. <laughs> I think right. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> right. So Drake says, let's look at the sideboard. Three Obstinate Bailoth, three Damping Spear, two Anger the God, two Broken Bond, two Commune with Lava, an Engineer Explosives, a Fraction Gust, and a Caustic Caterpillar. So when I played Breach Shift, I used to try to board, when Infect was a really popular deck, when Gitaxian Probe was legal, I used to try to board a lot of cards for it. The discussion we'd have in our team was, should I be boarding seven cards for this matchup or zero? Yeah. Drake seems to be on the zero side yeah. of things. You know, he has two Anger of the Gods and Engineered Explosives. And I guess Caustic Caterpillar against Ink Moth Nexus. Yeah, the problem is you can board in seven and you still lose the matchup. Yeah. You know, you could have three Sudden Shocks, three Spell Skites. Mm -hmm. and, and a Malira, and you still <laughs> might lose. Yeah. It's that. <laughs> it's not pretty. You, that, to be fair, if you play all seven of those, you're getting into the 40%. Oh, wow. Sounds, yeah. sounds well worth it. Yeah, it's nice. For the low cost of putting a two-mana 2-2 two -two in my sideboard along with yeah. six other cards. Yeah, you packed for it. <laughs> it's, it's not good enough. Yeah. On Zan's side, he has Invisible Stalkers. Two Vernon Corruptor, two Nature's Claim, two Spell Skite, two Grafter's Cage, two Spell Pierce, and a Wild Defiance. I could see some argument for a Spell Pierce here. I don't, I don't mind Spell Pierce. You know, sometimes you might counter a Farseek uh, against the three mana sweepers that helps block for your Glistener Elves and your Blighted Agents. That can come in clutch for sure. I've seen Infector's board players board in Spell Skite in this matchup. How do you feel about that? It's okay. I mean, it blocks for Lightning Bolt. It slows you down while it's doing that, though. I mean, you have these two dismembers in the main deck. Those have to go. Yeah. 
And the two spell pierce, I think, solidly take that slot. And everything else, I think, is pretty reasonable. Now, when we that last game, a card like Damping Sphere would have stopped Zan's kill. Does that matter enough? Uh, I mean, probably not. I'd be surprised if it really mattered. I guess if Zan had just done that play over the course of two turns, does it still kill him? Yeah. Like, yes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not really. All right, one turn, I'll pump it twice, go. Right. Hit you again. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's not like Drake had him dead on the following turn. Right. Yeah, we were a ways <laughs> off. Yeah, and some of the difficulties, you look at these cards out of the board. Okay, you got some Anger of the Gods. That's great. That wouldn't have done, and some Engineer Explosives. Would have any of those mattered last game? So I have played a lot of the one man or removal spell dot deck decks. Yeah. And in fact, gives you trouble when your interaction costs three. I mean, Coligan's command is insanely yeah. good if it resolves, but it just doesn't resolve. Yeah, you and just don't get to do three mana things. Well, these are even sorceries, right? The, like, yeah. none of those, like, Injury Explosive is a non land. Anger's a sorcery. Like, yeah. you died to an Ink Moth. Right. Yeah, this, this stuff, it, it's mana it's intensive. Like, the timing is no good. It's just really rough for the Titan Shift deck. You need Caustic Caterpillar. That can do something. What a card. Was not expecting to see that in 75. You, usually you see Reclamation Sage instead. Um, there's probably a reason this one. I'm trying to think why you'd want this instead of Sage. I do know that some affinity players have started having Torpor Orb in their sideboards. I don't think that's a thing that's really going to happen to you, but I don't know. Maybe it had. And to be honest, it probably doesn't matter whether it's Caterpillar or Rex Sage. Yeah. I bet they both are about the same. You can pay some mana up front if it's cost at Caterpillar. You can curve into it you one can, to uh, two. You can attack a couple times, get him to 18. Well, I mean, I think that argument goes in favor of Rex Sage, right? If you're going to talk about attacking. Well, you know, they're less likely to have a blocker That's online true. against your Caterpillar. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, yeah, sometimes you need to get them to that 18 so that you can shift them a turn earlier. Uh, sometimes the dealer boosts out a Reclamation Sage. That's actually true. <laughs> I've, I've gotten hit by that one before. <laughs> Sam's going to get in one last pile shuffle. You won't want to leave that on the table. They only let you do that once, which means that if you every don't opportunity, do it once, then you're just punting. That's right? just one last time that you could have pile shuffled. I was like, I don't even, I should be that guy. be like, I never used to pile shuffle, but once they made that rule, I, mean, I, do, it me, I do it every game they now. They told me I could only do it once, and here we are. I didn't, didn't want to leave value. I pile shuffle if I drop a card. I shuffle once before each match. I I tend to be a little. I I can I sometimes leave cards at like the last table or something. I just I just don't have the patience for that. I wish I'd say it always ends up on sixty, but lots of times it doesn't. That's why I do it. <laughs> it's like where'd that? Oh yeah, yeah, hold on. They exiled that thing. I bet it's still in. I bet it's still over on table I've, twenty-five. Uh, I've seen you lose enough hotel room keys that uh, yeah. I, I believe you, you. You support you. You defend this pile yeah, shuffling. I defend you pile shuffling. <laughs> that makes know. sense to me. Oh. As for myself, I have several old room keys on my wallet right that's now. Like, I usually do all right maintaining you, sixty cards. That's not a better play. Your wallet must be so heavy. I get by. <laughs> My wallet is quick as the wind. Just, I never put you put hotel keys in your wallet. I just like throw them in my pocket or like or the garbage, or the garbage. or on the floor, yeah. or you give them to strangers for no reason. Who knows? Who knows what happens to them? I re I don't. That's that's what I know. <laughs> I I do not know what happens to them. <laughs> if there's a person that knows that thing, that person is not me. You can keep asking no around. Worries. All right, we're underway. Drake on the play. Starts on a mountain. Roseanne. Can he get an infector online? Turn one mountain. Off yeah. the indicative of a lightning bolt. Yeah, I mean, or a hand without many lands, but Drake kept seven. Yeah. So that's probably not true. I'd try to open on Noble Hierarch if I had the choice then from Zan. And usually that's what you want to do. In this matchup on the play, I'll open. I would open on Glistener Elf. Just, just get him. 
Most matchups you open on Noble Hierarch. You're not wrong. Yeah, depending on the context of the hand, I mean, the turn one mountain feels a lot like a lightning bolt, so you determine, you know, does my hand have All more right. threats? Does my hand need the mana? There's some ink, there's at least one Ink Moth Nexus at the front of the hand here. Possibly two. Yeah. Glistener Elf. And yeah, it is a lightning bolt. Not really a shocker there. Well, no, it's a bolt. Ha. Huh. Does one more. Could have been a gut shot. He's Sakura Tribe Elder from Drake Sasser. Right. So far, Drake doing what he needs to do. Yep. Furthering his plan and disrupting Xan. Now, we know Xan yeah. has the Ink Moth. Does he have a creature to back it up that, yep. that can uh, kind of overload Drake? These are the kind of hands that beat Infect. Bolt into Ramp Spell. Mm -hmm. Keep it going. It's definitely harder to pump up an Ink Moth Nexus than a Glistener Elf. Ooh. Blighted Agent from Xan and Ink Moth Nexus. And it looks like he has brought in Spellskite. There's one of those floating around in the hand. Okay. So uh, he was thinking about which one to deploy. Given how much easier it is to pump a Blighted Agent than an Ink Moth Nexus, I do like this here. Also, if Drake spends this turn with some kind of Sweeper, that eats the whole turn. He doesn't get to cast any ramp spells. If it's another Lightning Bolt, you know, that, that plays kind of no matter what. The Spell Sky would eat it, obviously, but in terms of mana efficiency, it plays this way. Whereas if it's a Sweeper, you get to maybe buy some time. Anger of the Gods from Drake. More interaction. It's working out. That'll exile the Blighted Agent. Now, Xan does have an Infector still to attack with. So now we'll start to look at how... Drake, I think, has done enough on these turns to have a shot at winning. Now we'll see if he can curve into the finisher. Right. Not clear how many lands Xan has available. There's definitely a second Ink Moth Nexus. Depending on how many pump spells he has, what they cost, getting the spell skite online might be more valuable than trying to get in the chip shot for one. If he has like two blossoming defense and then some other kind of pump spell, playing a non ink moth land if he has it and making that attack, I think that makes a lot of sense on this turn. So the question is, do the pump spells do something that the spell sky does, or does the spell sky do something that the pump spells don't do? Fires up Ink Moth Nexus. Swings in for a poison. No pumps. Passes. Sand looks to be holding a spell pierce, I believe. Okay. That doesn't really do anything at this phase no, in the game. No, Drake Pet Landon says go. See if Xan has more pump. I wonder if he's putting on that one poison because he can double four this turn. That would make sense. That would be something. Just just no no fear jam. Mm -hmm. yeah, so he does have a forest. He still has the spell skite towards the front of the hand. Yeah. Looks like that's what he'll cast. The horror. Yeah. He will be dead then to search for tomorrow, escape shift. Or just ramp spell scape shift. Yeah. Uh, if he doesn't attack and he has spell pierce. Okay, yeah, the spell skite can actually save him. You're right. Well, if it's ramp spell on the following turn into scape shift, he could theoretically pierce spell it. pierce the scape shift. Two poison onto Drake. Yeah, spell skite gains some life. Yeah, you can pay two and redirect all the triggers to spell skite. So instead of each Falcon trigger dealing three, they all do two means that instead of it being 18 damage, it's 12. Xan would still be alive. Drake makes Primeval Titan here. Unclear if it wins. Drake looks like he has a Summoner's Pact to Antipi. I don't know if he has land six. That's rough. A lot of things have to go right here. The first turns went right for Drake, but it looks like he has a stumble. This is a situation you really can't. Mm -hmm. OK, there is the land there. It's a second forest, though. Yeah. Not great. I mean, he can go for it anyway. The problem is, is that he's probably dead. If he taps up for Titan, gets two Valakuts, says go, and survives to the untap, he'll win. But he probably doesn't survive to the untap. That said, 
Might just be what the best thing he can do. Right. The deck doesn't afford you a ton of options. There's a spell sky in play. What were you going to do anyway? Yeah. The, the, the part that's regrettable when you play Titan Shift is that you're not only do you not have any interaction, but you always tell your opponent that. Yeah. You know, so like not only is he going to make Titan and hope to not die here. Tap he's all of his mana. Yeah, he's going to tap all it. his mana to do it. Yeah. And it works out often enough. You know, this is the finals of the tournament after all, but. Is he going to get Caustic Caterpillar? Is he going that direction? That can't be right. Yikes. I mean, I believe that there's a lightning bolt in his hand. I'm trying to play control here. It's I get it, but it's really f it's getting real fancy. Mm -hmm. Especially because you have to pay for the pact on the following turn. Yeah, yeah. There's still a spell skite. We'll see how he how he plays this one out. Okay, he's getting Titan. Yeah. He has land six in hand. He doesn't really don't need to present yet. That's not necessary. Just yeah. Put your land into play. You're going to be back in there in a second. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so this gets is... Gets two Valakuts, yep. Yeah, there's only four mountains on the battlefield, so you don't get to fire anything off. Not that it would really matter. There's a spell skite over there. Yeah, what it does mean when he attacks next turn, both mountains, five and six, enter at the same time, so they all see each other. Next attack will be lethal if it happens. Yeah, yeah. And that's the big question. Big assumption is this whole next turn concept... Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't, I don't know, know if, if that's one. happening. Well, let's find out. Zan, one attack would send him. Would bring him home the trophy. Let's see if he can do it. This would be his first win on the SCG Tour. Yeah. Handful of top eights, but yeah, it would be the first trophy. And does Zan have it? Fifth land. I see some cards here, yeah. Two might Two might have old Krosa activating. Come off yeah, Nexus, is this it? it? That does it. Nexus. Jake will once again test Zan's ability to tap lands to cast spells. And wow, Zan passes again. And that's going to be the match. Zan Sayed is your winner here in Atlanta. Defends the hometown open. And what a weekend for him with Infect. Crushing through.